Ms. Tara Fong from the US EPA. She's joining us virtually. So well, good morning, everybody. My name is Tara Fong. I am the director of the water division at EPA's Region 5 in Chicago. And I'm here this morning to present an overview of EPA's Clean Water Act Section 401A2 evaluation and recommendations on the Fond du Lac Band's objection to the proposed Clean Water Act Section 404 permit for the North Mint Mine Project. I sincerely apologize for not being with you all this morning, um, but unfortunately I have COVID and was unable to travel yesterday. I would like to thank the Fond du Lac Band for hosting this hearing and the core for the opportunity to present our evaluations and recommendations, especially virtually given the last minute change. My presentation is just an overview of our evaluations and recommendations today. We will be sure to share the full documents and make those available. Our assessment is based on an independent scientific review of the record, including PolyMet's Clean Water Act Section 404 permit application and Minnesota's water quality certification as currently proposed. For a brief walkthrough of my remarks this morning, I'd like to start by summarizing EPA's evaluation and recommendations, and then back up a little bit into the details on how we got there, including the 401A2 process, and what our evaluation includes, which includes water quality impacts from mercury and methyl mercury, water quality impacts from specific conductance, and additional areas that we reviewed in the band's objection but did not evaluate to the same level of detail. Finally, I will summarize our conclusions and restate our recommendations. For an overview of EPA's evaluation and recommendations, our task at this hearing is to submit to the core EPA's evaluation and recommendations regarding the Fond du Lac Band of Lake Superior Chippewa's objection to the issuance of the Clean Water Act Section 404 permit for PolyMet's NorthMet project. Our evaluation is based on our independent scientific evaluation of the record, including the Clean Water Act Section 404 permit application and Minnesota's Clean Water Act Section 401 certification for that permit as they exist today. EPA's key recommendation is that the Corps should not reissue the suspended Clean Water Act Section 404 permit as proposed. As the NorthMet project is currently designed, there are no conditions that EPA can provide to the Corps that would ensure that the discharges from the Clean Water Act Section 404 permitted activities would comply with the band's water quality requirements. EPA's recommendations do not foreclose any future modifications to the NorthMet permit application or the NorthMet project's design. Any future modifications should include meaningful involvement of the band and Minnesota to ensure compliance with both tribal and state water quality requirements. A brief overview on what Clean Water Act Section 401A2 provides is that is the framework under which we operate today. This section of the Clean Water Act provides for a process for neighboring jurisdictions, which include states and tribes that have received treatment in a similar manner to a state, to participate in the federal licensing or permitting process where EPA determines that a discharge from an activity that is subject to Clean Water Act Section 401 certification from another jurisdiction may affect their water quality. A federal licensing or permitting agency must immediately notify EPA when it receives a license or permit application and a 401 certification, after which EPA has 30 days upon receipt to determine whether a discharge from the license or permitting activity may affect the water quality of a neighboring jurisdiction, and if so, to notify that neighboring jurisdiction, the licensing or permitting agency and the project applicant. Following EPA's notification, the neighboring jurisdiction has 60 days to determine whether the discharge will affect its water quality so as to violate its water quality requirements. And if so, it may object to the issuance of the license or permit and request that the licensing or permitting agency conduct a hearing on its objection. At the hearing, EPA must submit to the licensing or permitting agency and evaluation and recommendations regarding the objection of the neighboring jurisdiction. The licensing or permitting agency must condition the relevant license or permit as may be necessary to ensure compliance with applicable water quality requirements based on the recommendations of the neighboring jurisdiction and EPA and any additional evidence presented at the hearing. 
The Clean Water Act states that if the imposition of conditions cannot ensure such compliance, the licensing or permitting agency shall not issue the license or permit. Very briefly on the history of 401A2 with respect to this North Met permit application, on March 4th, 2021, in response, excuse me, in response to a March 4th, 2021 letter from EPA, the Corps suspended the Clean Water Act Section 404 permit for the North Met project on the 17th of March to allow for EPA to complete the Section 401A2 uh, review. EPA made a may affect determination and notified the band and Wisconsin on June 4th, 2021, which gave the state and the band the opportunity to review whether the project will affect their water quality. On August 2nd, 2021, Wisconsin notified EPA and the Corps that it did not object to the issuance of the Clean Water Act Section 404 permit for the North Met project. On August 3rd, 2021, the band notified the Corps that discharges from the North Met project would affect the quality of the band's waters and violate its downstream water quality requirements. The band objected to the issuance of the permit and the band requested that the Corps hold a public hearing as we are doing now. EPA's evaluation and recommendations that I present today uh, were informed by a wealth of information and documentation, including, but not limited to, the band's objection letter providing its will affect determination and supporting documents, documents EPA received from PolyMet during EPA's Clean Water Act Section 401A2 may affect process and related documents, input received from the Fond du Lac band during government to government consultation with EPA, PolyMet's Clean Water Act Section 404 application to the Corps for the North Met project and supporting documents, the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency's 401 certification for the Corps' Clean Water Act Section 404 permit, the Corps' record of decision and final environmental impact statement for the Clean Water Act Section 404 permit for the North Met project, the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency's Clean Water Act Section 402 permitting documentation, including a general st uh, construction stormwater permit an individual surface water discharge permit for the North Met project, an additional scientific review that EPA Region 5 obtained from our Office of Research and Development. In response to our request uh, to our Office of Research and Development specific to Mercury, we obtained a scientific review from EPA's Office of Research and Development, Center for Computational Toxicology and Exposure, Great Lakes Toxicology and Ecology Division, regarding potential impacts from mercury as described by the band in its objection. To evaluate potential impacts regarding specific conductance as described in the band's objection, we requested and obtained a scientific review from EPA's Office of Research and Development, Center for Environmental Measurement and Modeling, Watershed and Ecosystem Characterization. Both of these documents are included in our evaluation and recommendations in full as appendices. EPA's uh, evaluation identified a number of areas of uncertainty. These included uncertainty regarding the full acreage of secondary impacts to wetlands from the anticipated drawdown of groundwater from mine construction and operation. Uncertainty in the mercury present in and the fate and transport of such mercury from wetlands subject to secondary impacts from the anticipated drawdown of groundwater from mine construction and operation. Uncertainty regarding the quantity of total mercury and dissolved ions contributing to elevated specific conductance that would be discharged during mine construction. Uncertainty regarding the quantity of total mercury and dissolved ions that would be discharged from the mine through seepage. And uncertainty regarding the reduction and dilution capacity of water bodies affected by the North Med project and that would contribute to elevated specific conductance. A key area of our evaluations and recommendations is mercury. The band's water quality criterion for mercury to protect human health is 0.77 nanograms per liter and is not currently attained in the waters within its reservation. Mercury concentrations in surface waters between the North Met project site and the Fond du Lac reservation are also greater than 0.77 nanograms per liter. Mercury released from wetlands adjacent to the mine site as a result of changes in hydrology due to construction and operation of the North Met mine is a significant potential source of mercury to the St. Louis River watershed. 
Such mercury releases could exacerbate the ongoing exceedances of the band's water quality requirements. The available data and analysis supporting the Clean Water Act Section 404 permit and Clean Water Act Section 401 certification are insufficient to fully evaluate the mercury impacts from the North Met project in terms of the area of wetlands affected and the effects on the band's water quality. Understanding the scope of the anticipated impacts from the North Met project due to changes in wetland hydraulic regimes resulting from the Clean Water Act Section 404 permitted activities is essential to estimate the quantities of mercury that may be subject to me me excuse me, mercury methylation, mobiliz mobilization, and export downstream to the band's already impaired waters. Additionally on mercury, the Clean Water Act Section 402 General Stormwater Permit for construction of the North Met project does not contain limits for mercury. The individual Clean Water Act Section 402 permit for surface, dis surface water discharges from the North Met project does not contain numeric water quality based effluent limitations for mercury that would ensure compliance with the band's water quality requirement. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency did not find that there was reasonable potential to exceed applicable water quality standards. The permit includes operating limits on mercury at an internal monitoring station set to Minnesota's water quality standard of 1.3 nanograms per liter, which is not sufficient to ensure compliance with the band's downstream water quality requirements. The permit also contains technology-based effluent limitations on mercury at 1,000 nanograms per liter as a monthly average and 2,000 nanograms per liter as a daily maximum, which are also not sufficient to ensure compliance with the band's downstream water quality requirements. Based on EPA's review of the information contained in this baseline water quality data for the North Met project, EPA's evaluation is that the Clean Water Act Section 404 permit and MPCA's Clean Water Act Section 401 certification lack conditions sufficient to protect mercury mobilization, methylation, and export at levels that would exceed the band's water quality requirements given current project design and discharges outside of the Clean Water Act Section 404 permitted activities. Turning next to specific conductance impacts. The band's numeric water quality standard for specific conductance, excuse me, is 300 microsiemens per centimeter. Due to discharges containing mineral loadings from many sources in the St. Louis River watershed, data collected in the St. Louis River main stem shows that the river has been exceeding the band's numeric water quality criterion of 300 microsiemens per centimeter as an annual average in some recent years. The Clean Water Act Section 404 application and the Corps suspended Clean Water Act Section 404 permit, as proposed, would authorize activities that would contribute additional mineral loadings to the St. Louis River and decrease the specific conductance dilution capacity currently provided by the existing undisturbed forested wetland mine site. The degree of cumulative mineral loadings that would contribute to specific conductance downstream of the North Met project is uncertain. There are no corrective actions specified in the permits for the North Met project that would reverse trends showing that specific conductance is increasing. Additionally, on specific conductance, based on the information that EPA has reviewed, even relatively small increases in specific conductance loadings and or decreases in dilution capacity would result in violations of the band's water quality requirements pertaining to specific conductance and anti-degradation. The Corps Clean Water Act Section 404 permit and Minnesota's Clean Water Act Section 401 certification predate the band's adoption of its numeric specific conductance water quality criterion. EPA notes that the Corps Clean Water Act Section 404 permit and Minnesota's Clean Water Act Section 401 certification do not account for the potential impact of increased specific conductance on the band's water quality requirements. Based on this review, EPA is unaware of any Clean Water Act Section 404 permit conditions that the Corps could add to the North Med Clean Water Act Section 404 permit that would ensure compliance with the band's water quality requirements for specific conductance for reservation waters, given the North Met project's current design and discharges outside of the Clean Water Act Section 404 permitted activities. 
The band raised additional concerns in its objection that EPA considered but did not fully evaluate to the same extent as the previous. These included the risk of a tailings basin failure. EPA acknowledges the band's concern that a failure of the tailings basin, if it occurred, would likely constitute an unpermitted discharge of pollutants to the St. Louis River watershed, potentially contributing to a violation of the band's water quality standards. We defer to the Corps conclusion in its record of decision that the design of the tailings basin impoundment dam complies with industry standards for safety and stability. Excuse me. We also consider the band's concerns regarding future mine expansion. We acknowledge those and defer to the Corps' response to this concern, including in it, included in its record of decision, that at this time further expansion is speculative and if proposed may require additional environmental review and would need to meet appropriate regulatory requirements, including applicable water quality requirements. EPA acknowledges that the band has raised many concerns regarding its treaty rights to fish and aquatic dependent species that are important to the band, both culturally and ecologically. We acknowledge that the band's water quality requirements are intended to protect the band's water dependent designated uses within their reservation. Finally, EPA acknowledges that the band has raised important considerations of environmental justice, and we encourage the Corps to consider these as it moves forward in the Clean Water Act Section 401A2 process. In conclusion, EPA's evaluation has identified both significant uncertainties related to the extent of potential discharge and release of mercury and the potential for additional mineral loadings contributing to elevated specific conductance from the Clean Water Act Section 404 permitted activities related to the North Bed project. These include the scale of wetland dewatering that would contribute to methylmercury in the system, net loading from all of the discharges of mercury and mineral loadings in the watershed, and the loss of dilution capacity that will contribute to elevated specific conductance in affected water bodies. Based on these uncertainties, in addition to the reasonably foreseeable discharges of methyl mercury, mercury and mineral loadings contributing to specific conductance that are unaccounted for in the North Met uh, Clean Water Act Section 404 permit application and suspended permit, the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency's Section 401 certification for the Corps' Clean Water Act Section 404 permit, and both of MPCA's Clean Water Act Section 402 permits for the North Med project, EPA is unaware of any Clean Water Act Section 404 permit conditions that would ensure compliance with the band's water quality requirements for reservation waters, given current project design and discharges outside of the scope of the Clean Water Act Section 404 permitted activities. EPA recommends that the Corps not reissue the suspended Clean Water Act Section 404 permit for the North Met project as currently proposed, given current project design and discharges outside of the Clean Water Act Section 404 permitted activities. EPA's recommendations do not foreclose any future modifications to the PolyMet Clean Water Act Section 404 permit application for the North Met project or to the North Met project's design. Any future modifications should include meaningful involvement of the band in Minnesota to ensure compliance with both tribal and state water quality requirements. My presentation today was a brief overview of EPA's evaluation and recommendations. Our full evaluations and recommendations document this presentation um, and will be available on our website at the address here, as well as the Corps' website uh, at the address here as well. Thank you very much for the opportunity to share our evaluation and recommendations this morning. Tara, thank you very much for your overview.